Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of Nuestra Señora del Pilar. Our Lady of the Pillar, we commemorate Our Lady appearing to St. James the Apostle standing on a pillar to strengthen him in his mission. May Mary and Jesus today be our strength and our encouragement in times of difficulty. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God 
may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Please stand. my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention 
to judgment and to love of God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been following an interesting discussion between Jesus and the Pharisees since yesterday. Yesterday, it was the turn of the Pharisees to observe what Jesus was doing. Today, it is the turn of Jesus to observe and to reveal to the Pharisees their action. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells the Pharisees, it seems that you have forgotten, you have neglected, you have paid no attention to the love of God, to the love of justice. Why is it so? And Jesus tells them, because you love the seats of honor in synagogues. You love the greetings in marketplaces. You love yourselves more than you love God. The actions of the Pharisees are guided not by what they know, but by what they love. And I think, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is speaking not just to the Pharisees. He is also speaking to us today that most of the time, our actions are guided not by what we really know, but by what we love. Hindi po ba totoo naman yan sa maraming pagkakataon Kapag mahal mo ang isang bagay, binibigyan mo ng halaga, binibigyan mo ng oras, binibigyan mo ng importansya. Pero kapag wala ang puso mo dyan, ay talagang napapabayaan mo. And so, what do we need to correct this? In our first reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, St. Paul asks us, Ano ba ang kailangan natin para itama yan? Kailangan ba natin ng mas marami pang batas? Sapat na ba na bigyan tayo ni San Pablo ng batas para itama ang ating gawain? Sabi ni San Pablo, hindi sapat ang batas. Minsan nga, mapapansin mo dyan, nakasulat na sa dingding, bawal magtapo ng basura. Nandoon ang basura. Minsan, 
lalo na yung mga nagmamaneho, alam natin kung nasaan ang CCTV camera. No? Ah, nandyan ang CCTV camera. Kaya gigilid ako dito para hindi ako mahagip, hindi ako mahuli. Sapat na ba ang batas? Minsan nga, yung gumagawa ng batas, siya pa ang sumusuway ng batas. Sapat ba ang batas? St. Paul said, the law is not enough. We need the Spirit to guide us. It is not enough that the law informs our mind what to do. We need the Spirit to teach our hearts to love what is good and right. Hindi lang kinakailangang tama ang pag-iisip, kinakailangang nasa tama rin ang puso. Sapagkat kahit napakaraming batas ang ibigay sa atin, kung wala doon ang puso natin, ay hindi rin natin susundin yan. Kagaya ng mga pariseyo, kagaya ng mga eskriba. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul teaches us to allow the Spirit to lead our hearts so that we could love what Jesus loves. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate Our Lady of the Pillar. She appeared to St. James in the time when St. James was confused and he was discouraged by mission. Iniisip niya, kailangan ko pa bang ituloy ang mission ko? My mission seems pointless. He would want to escape the mission. But Mary appeared on a pillar, a pillar that is unmovable. And Mary said, Here, where I appeared in this pillar, you build a church. And this will be the place of your mission. His heart is in the proper place. His heart is in the proper direction. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our celebration of the Mass, let us ask Our Lady who carries Jesus atop a pillar to lead our hearts in the proper place, to lead our hearts in the right direction. Amen. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice by her ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be sincere in their effort to provide services and programs for the poor and the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the disabled may find support and assurance from their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generosity and sincerity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary, our Lady of the Pillar. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation, May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
please stand? Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our healing rosary for this evening will be live from the Carmel of Our Lady Mary, Mediatrix of All Grace, in Lipa City in Batangas. We thank the, the Carmelite sisters who hosted this event for us and also the confraternity of Our Lady Mediatrix of All Grace in Lipa for facilitating this event. We pray together this evening at 9 p.m. together with our Carmelite sisters in Lipa so that we could have healing and protection, especially for our world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing now and forever. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life now and forever. Amen. And may you who have devoutly gathered on the feast day of Our Lady of the Pillar, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.